Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley, and once again from the National Weather Service, we have this heat advisory from Tulsa down to the south until 8 o'clock tonight for those heat indices anywhere between 105 and 110 degrees, and another heat advisory for tomorrow on your Monday between noon and 8, the same range of those heat indices, but not including Tulsa right now, but that might have to be expanded up towards the north, so mainly along Interstate 40 and to the south, especially down to the south around McAllister. On live double Doppler 2 right now from our Kuwita radar site, it is picking up some echoes, especially just to the east of McAllister and to the south, but Tulsa is in the clear, though we saw a few rain showers out there for early this morning that amounted to a trace of rain at the Tulsa airport. Over the past three hours on Storm Shield radar, you can see that activity across far eastern Oklahoma. However, I am tracking some more showers developing out towards the west, western Oklahoma and northern Northern Texas in throughout the panhandle there and those showers and storms will make a run at green country overnight tonight. We're going to track those on future track tonight's risk from the storm prediction center, a marginal threat for some of those storms and showers to turn severe. But again, the chance is fairly low out there. Your current temperature now with nice sunshine out there for this afternoon, pretty uncomfortable at 95 degrees and the dew point close to 80 for today. The wind still light between about five and 10 miles per hour. Down to street level we go at ORU, your current temperature there at 95 degrees and unfortunately warmer high temperatures on the way for this next work week on your latest seven day forecast. You can see some of those current temperatures now across the region, everybody into the 90s to close to 100 degrees. Okima at 98 and 97 for our viewers in Bristow. When we factor in the relative humidity, the heat index right now in Tulsa, what it really feels like to our bodies at 111. Now the official daytime high today so far at 95 degrees, that mile low of 76. And again, just a trace of rain out there for early this morning at the Tulsa airport. Timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation. So overnight tonight, for the most part, mostly cloudy skies with an increasing chance for showers and storms moving in from the west as we saw those showers and storms western Oklahoma now and northern Texas. So overnight tonight, chances for those showers and storms across green country even for our viewers in throughout southeastern Kansas as well. Then for tomorrow on your Monday, mostly cloudy skies. I think more cloud cover out there for tomorrow with a chance for showers and storms, not only for the morning hours, but also for the afternoon as well. So overnight tonight, an increasing chance for showers and storms. Those overnight lows dropping off into the 70s. Sky took at 74 degrees southeasterly winds between about 5 and 15 miles per hour. Overnight lows once again dropping off into the 70s. Tahlequah at 72 degrees. Still fairly light winds pulling out of the southeast between about 5 and 15 with a chance for showers and storms out there tonight. McAllister, a very mild overnight low of 77. Look for southeasterly winds between about 5 and 10. So here's your Monday forecast at 7. Mostly cloudy skies at 75 degrees, jumping up into the upper 80s. Mostly cloudy at lunchtime and then partly cloudy skies at 5, 92 degrees. I think again, more in the way of cloud cover out there for especially the morning hours, maybe some peaks of sunshine for the afternoon. We'll definitely keep you posted. Daytime highs anywhere from the upper 80s to the lower 90s, including Claremore at 90 degrees with a chance for showers and storms. Southeasterly winds still fairly light, maybe a little bit in the way of heightened winds out there for the afternoon between about 10 and 15 for our northern zones. Low to the mid 90s once again, Shakota at 96 degrees with a chance for showers and storms. You can see the sunset right there at 821. Southerly winds between about 5 and 10. We have Tallahena at 94 degrees and McAllister at 96. Here's a look at your latest seven day forecast so you can see the shower chances there each and every day, especially during the afternoon. Daytime highs warming up at 96 degrees. Those overnight lows anywhere from the 70s to close to 80 degrees. I think the best chance for showers and storms there on Friday and then lowering down those temperatures looks great for Saturday and Sunday into the lower 90s.